Hi everybody, it's Miss Mays here. Today we're going to be talking about coins. I noticed that everybody that has looked at the videos has been sending in their completed assignments. They've sent in videos, even pictures, um, showing me and their other teachers that they have been really engaged in the class and that makes me really happy and excited and keep on sending those in. So it shows us that you're um, completing the work and learning what we're trying to teach you, okay? Today we're going to talk about coins and I hope that that song has been stuck in your head. It's still stuck in mine. Um, it's pretty catchy. Uh, so I hope that's doing the job for you and we're going to talk about the coin values really quickly right before we review some questions. So if you have coins at home, now is a good time to pause this video and go and grab your coins. So go right ahead, go uh, grab your coins, um, and then come right back to the screen. Don't worry if you um, don't have coins at home. I have printed out coins, and you don't even need to do that. You can totally just follow along with this video and listen to that song a few times and I'm sure you will get the hang of it. And if you don't, when we get back in school, come to one of your teachers and we'll help you out. So the first coin we're going to talk about is the penny, okay? Penny has Abraham Lincoln on it, made out of copper and is worth one cent. It tells us right on the bottom of the coin one cent. So the penny is worth one cent. We have the nickel. The nickel tells us right on the bottom of the back that it is worth five cents. Okay? That's pretty cool. Those first two coins that I just showed you tell us exactly how much they are worth. We then have the dime. The dime is worth 10 cents. So on the back, it doesn't tell us that it's worth 10 cents. It says one dime. So at least it tells us that it's a dime, right? It is worth 10 cents. So 10 pennies. Next, we have the quarter. So on the back of the quarter, it says quarter dollar. Even on the front, it did. And this is worth 25 cents. So four of the quarters or quarter dollars make one dollar. Next we have the half dollar. The half dollar is half of a dollar, 50 cents. This is the back. It says half dollar. And finally we have the dollar coin. So this dollar coin has Sacagawea on it, and it says a do that it's worth a dollar on the back, which is awesome for us. I'm very uh, lucky that we can look on the back of a lot of these coins and they tell us their values. So now that we have gone over coin values again, and I know you've been practicing at home, Let's get into some review questions. So I'm going to take the video off of my face right now and you're going to actually see my screen and we're going to practice together some problems. Okay, so here we have the, our first practice problem. We are trying to find the total value of the coins below. So if you have coins right now, go ahead and try and count out your coins to match the picture here on the screen. If you don't have coins at home, that's okay. Go ahead and tell me, say it in your head, tell whoever what these coins are. How many quarters do you have? How many dimes do you have? How many nickels? How many pennies? Do you have any dollar coins? Half dollar coins? Okay. 
Okay, so if you need to continue to count out coins, go right ahead and do that. I am now going to count out these coins with you. We have one quarter dollar, so that is equal to 25 cents. We have one dime, two dimes, three, four dimes in total. So that is 40 cents. Now we have one, two nickels. Those are five cents each, 10 cents in nickels. And now we have one, two, three, four pennies. Go ahead and add that up on your piece of paper in your head on your, well, you can't really do it on your fingers, but whatever trick you may have to count coins. Pause it if you need to. I am about to tell you my answer. I believe that there are 79 cents. Here we go. Awesome job, guys. Let's get to the next one. Okay, so what is the total value of the coins below? We have one, two quarters, one dime, and two pennies. Now feel free to pause at any point, remember. I am going to tell you what my answer is. I think that the total value of coins below is 62 cents. Awesome job. Let's get to the next one. I'm not helping you on this one, okay? What is the total value of the coins below? Go ahead, do this all on your own. Pause it if you need to. You're going to count up your coins. If you're practicing at home with coins, put piles up. I am not telling you a single hint. Okay. I think that the total value of coins below is 80 cents. All right, let's check. There we go. Awesome job. You guys are doing amazing. I'm so, so proud of all the work that you have done already. And we're just getting started. Keep having an awesome break. I'll see you soon. I miss you all. And keep sending in those videos and pictures. You guys are doing amazing.